Enoch the Emu, written by Gordon Winch and illustrated by Doreen Gristwood. A long, long time ago, in the far Australian outback and in the middle of the dusty plain, lived an emu called Enoch. Enoch was good at eating and he was good at kicking and he was good at strutting about with his head in the air. And he was very good at meeting his mates at the emu club where he drank too much billabong water. But Enoch was not good at doing his bit around the nest like sitting on the nine olive green emu eggs which his wife Wilhelmina had laid. I am sick of you, Enoch, she said one night when he returned home late from the emu club. I am sick of your no good ways. You never take a turn on the nest. You never bring me a fat juicy grasshopper. You never drum me a little song as you used to before the eggs came along. I am sick of you, Enoch. I am sick of sitting here by myself on our eggs. So sit on them yourself or there will be no babies for you to boast about down at the emu club. And with that, Wilhelmina stood up and flounced past Enoch, who slumped to the ground with his mouth wide open in amazement. Enoch looked at the eggs as Wilhelmina disappeared down the track. Huh, he said, what a fuss about a little bit of egg sitting. I, Enoch Emu, will show my wife how easy it is to sit on a clutch of eggs. I will sit here quietly until she comes back and I won't complain once. So Enoch sat and sat, but Wilhelmina did not return. Not all that day. Or the next, Enoch started to get thirsty and hungry and cramped and very, very lonely. Then he saw Wilhelmina coming along the track. Aha, he said, and about time too. Not so fast, my fine feathered friend, Wilhelmina replied. Not so fast. I am here only to tell you that I am off for a little holiday with my friends. I'll be back when the eggs are hatched. But, 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 spluttered Enoch, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. What about my lunch? Come back. But Wilhelmina had really gone this time and Enoch was left sitting all alone on the nine olive green eggs in the nest in the middle of the dusty plains. Enoch sat and sat day after day and week after week with a look of determination on his face. No one came near him except for a bedraggled dingo who fled when he saw the fierce look in Enoch's eye. He started to lose weight. His face got thinner and his body got thinner. His feathers lost their shine, but still he sat and sat and sat. Until one morning, he heard a strange sound. Peck, 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 cheep, cheep, cheep. Peck, 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 cheep, cheep, cheep. Then he felt something move and a tiny striped head popped out from under the feathers. Hooray, shouted Enoch. I've done it, I'm a dad. And he drummed with pride as more emu chicks poked out their tiny heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Enoch had to show someone his new family, so he tidied the nest before setting off down the path to the emu club with the babies following. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at my new babies, boys, he said to his friends as they stood drinking at the billabong. All my own work. Well, 
nearly. The emus at the club were most impressed. Very fine young birds, very fine, they said, and well behaved too. Fine, fine, very fine. And they all bent down to look at Enoch's babies. All that is, except Eben, an uppity young emu who was silly enough to give a little chuckle at the sight of Enoch with his chicks. But not for long, because Enoch's eyes started to blaze and his kicking toes started to twitch. Um, yes, now you come to think of it, said Eben suddenly. Fine, fine, very fine. Never thought of raising babies myself. Might give it a go. Quite, quite, said all the others. Seems a fitting thing to do. We might try too. And indeed they did. Next season, all the male emus came to the emu club with their chicks. And would you believe it? They have done so ever since. Enoch the emu is a make-believe story. However, part of it is true. After the female emu has laid her eggs, the male emu really does take over. He cares for the nest and sits on the eggs for six to eight weeks until the chicks hatch. Then he looks after them until they are able to look after themselves. If dingoes or foxes come too close, the male frightens them away by making a loud booming noise with his throat. He really is a very good father. If you ever see an emu caring for its eggs or chicks, then you'll know that it's a male. However, be sure not to laugh at him because he's a very good at kicking.